from the start, I have grown to hate shows with strong opening episodes that gives us a taste of what potential a show has, followed by mediocrity. And this is one of the shows. Tacked Top Destiny or Tacked Opus Destiny or Tacked OP Destiny, whatever the hell you call it, starts out with pretty amazing expository narration, followed by a bombastic scene that sells the world, characters and animation, and really gets you geared up for what potential lies deep within its future. An aloof genius, a robotic badass sweet and loving girl, and a classical wrangler of the group in the form of an older sister. This characterization is provided in the first 9 minutes of the show. And the layers of intrigue are added alongside this as well. I thought that as I was watching these first 9 minutes that Tag Top could possibly be well on its way to getting a 9 or 10 out of 10 from me. You know how they say never judge a book by its cover. Well it's kind of same for the anime watchers that never believe an anime will be good because its first episode is. I have fallen down this hole many times. Tag Top Destiny was one of the most disappointing shows in 2021. Ambitious project involving cooperation between two of the most beloved studio in the anime industry, Mappa and Madhouse, turns out to be a simple eye candy with no substance or depth in it. Probably the most regretful thing about it all is how much potential this story has in it. Musical themes, awesome waifus, complex story and lore, interesting characters and great action. Unfortunately, authors fall short to deliver high quality writing to back this premise up and instead we get Failed music themes, hollow waifus, bad story with inconsequential lore, blank and awful characters, meaningless action with confusing combat system. Tact of Destiny is placed in a post-apocalyptic world where the earth was showered by mysterious magic stones. First ones were harmless with some mysterious powers in them, but then came the evil stones. It looks like bad stones spawned evil monsters known as D2s which hate music for some reason. When humanity was on the brink of collapse, magic cards and conductors showed up. The anime never explains how they were created by the way. Which had the power of good stones and manages to save the United States and presumably the rest of the world. I don't know this show doesn't care about other countries or not though. Now D2s are coming back and we need to live in dystopian reality where merciless government prevents us from listening to music. Because apparently in the year of 2047, they don't have headphones. If this sounds like a convoluted premise, don't worry, it isn't important for most of the series. Looking deeper into the anime, it feels like the show has little personal connection towards the main characters when they are doing their work. One somehow unique element I do want to mention is the realistic setting of the modern world. Tact of Destiny almost feels like futuristic dystopia at times but retains mostly a real feeling of familiarity. Settings such as Las Vegas are what we are familiar with while New York has its metropolis vibe. There's not too many places or characters journey across the world, but it's safe to say that the anime has a degree of realism despite all the otherworldly weird things. Outside of Tact and Cosette, the rest of the cast are ambiguous and underdeveloped. I say this because it's difficult to feel invested about the characters. Even though they have their reasons for fighting, like Lenny being a notable example, they are often overshadowed by the plot's purpose or tact and cosette. This is to say that they are still somewhat important to the overall story, but it's obvious from day one that the anime is mainly about tact and cosette. And for better or worse, Anna feels more like a main supporting character than the middle girl of the trio. Acting as a big sister type for Cosette, the anime does go into some depth to show her kindness though. The overall character chemistry is unfortunately not very good. Oh, and before you ask, this anime does not have any real romance. You may get a surprise at how Anna responds to Tack near the end of the story. But overall, don't expect any sorts of love to bloom between the main characters. Tact and Cosette aren't in this show to start a relationship. And we also hardly get any moments of true reflection for what happened to Cosette. Because we are constantly bombarded with fight scenes, ultimately leading to soulless characters with the purpose of being edgy or cute waifus while failing to connect with the audience. Truthfully speaking, this show feels like a JRPG game, with the likes of Shini Megami Tensei where constant side quests are stumbled upon with the objective to defeat new villains along the way. The difference is that the villains in this one are repetitive and unimaginative, which makes the experience unexciting too. And also, since you can eventually easily guess the events that would unfold, which leads to a lack of tension. 
villains are evil just to be evil with no reasoning for their action i had hope for the guy with the green hair but he turned out to be what i expected a boring antagonist with no motive the fight choreography is hostile and the d2s lack intelligence and defensive capabilities they heavily rely on numbers and acts nothing as just beast in all honesty they are uninteresting and you know one fun thing about this that music arts are doing everything but music conductors appears to swing the baton but as to be what their purpose is for no one knows since conductors in general feel like unneeded in the battles destiny often dives into battles of her own free will while leaving tact on his lonesome when lenny died titan was just as efficient as she was without him so all these factors along with this show feels like an unnecessary cash grab although these were my thoughts about this anime i would also love to know what do you think about this anime so make sure to drop your thoughts in the comment section down below and that's for today's video guys if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings anime reviews recommendations news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis so if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and i will see you in the next one sayonara